Hey, Luke, just wondered where you thought Lonzo impacted that game the most and kind of the, the style and the flow of it on both ends and, and how much you think that's, uh, that was important. Um, he, he impacted it on both ends. It, he's very, he's, you know, he creates our pace for us. He makes winning plays for us. Um, you know, he gets, he gets other people, uh, easy shots. So he impacted the, uh, the game on both ends of the floor and was a big part of why we won tonight. 11 assists and only, uh, one turnover is, is, is awesome. Um, you know, I told the guy. I mean, we're happy to win that, obviously, but I told him afterwards, like, come on, let's. That's why it's not always about you know winning and losing. Is we're trying to play a certain way and have a certain standard, and we have 26 turnovers. We shoot 61 percent from the free throw line. Like that's BS to me. Like we had a chance to put that game away, and we are out there having fun. Which look at, it, I'm all about fun while you play, but fun in a serious manner, and that's you know being locked in and, and, and respecting the game. And I thought we gave an effort tonight that was awesome. Our effort was incredible. Um, but we have got to get better at, uh, at the mental part of the game. And, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those wins that obviously, look, we've been, we've been struggling. We will take a win when we can get it. But it, it just it doesn't, feel, uh, it doesn't feel the same way as when you play, uh, you play the game the right way throughout. Um, but Zoe, Zoe was, was, was really good. He had a couple silly ones down the stretch, too. That quick three he took, uh, there's no need for that. Um, but for the most part, he, he was making winning plays out there. So you set the fast break, tied the fast break mark for the franchise last game, and we're almost there again tonight. But uh, defensively, do you think that Julius and Brooke, do you think there's something to that in, in the way that that starting group is playing on that end? Well, they were huge tonight. Last game, it started, uh, I thought the second unit was the one that set the tone for us defensively and allowed us to get out. And, uh, you know, Larry and Coos were, were doing a great job of anchoring that defense, uh, that second unit last game. Tonight, it obviously was the starters. And uh, they were locked into the game plan. Um, we were sharing the ball. We were, we were aggressive. We were flying around the court. Uh, we built up that 18-point lead, and then from there we mentally started relaxing. You know, I still thought we gave it a, an incredible effort for most of the night, but uh, once we mentally relaxed, they got right back in the game, and then it can go either way. And that's kind of what one of the things we talk about. Like, if you have a chance to uh, to keep someone down, you know, don't, keep them down. Don't don't give them life. Don't give them you know, don't give them uh, confidence in what they're doing. And uh, we didn't do a great job of that, but I am really happy with the way that we kind of regained our composure in that second half, turned our defense back up, held them to 12 points in the fourth quarter. Uh, but yes, the first unit defensively was really, uh, really good. And Julius and Brooke were a big part of that with the way they were talking out there. Coach, over here, your left. Um, just Julius Randle in general, since you put him in the starting lineup, can you just talk about some of the things you like he's doing and maybe some of the things you want to see him improve on? Um, He's got. He, he's getting better at it. Uh, we talk about it a lot. Tonight was. There were some plays where he didn't. It, it, when he he's such a dynamic athlete that when he drives the lane, but he's under control, we always get something good. We might not always score, but we get something good. Um, going against first unit centers or power forwards. They're bigger, they're big and, and more talented, obviously, than the second unit guys. Um, they collapse, they're coming in getting steals. And, you know, we, what we talk to him about is constantly being under control. And if it's, the shot is there, go ahead, take it. But if they collapse that defense, look to, to, to pass out. And tonight he kind of, he had moments where he was great at it, and then he had moments where he overpenetrated and we got in trouble on it. Um, defensively, uh, we asked him to, to mainly just do switching in the second unit. And he's, in my opinion, you know, one of the top bigs in our league at switching and guarding every position on the floor, one through five. Uh, in, the, in the starting lineup, we need him to play more traditional coverages, schemes, and he's gotten, uh, he's gotten a lot better at that in, in the short amount of time that we switched him into the starting lineup as far as recognizing, calling out coverages, and playing more of a traditional big man role. So, um, you know, he's, he's, he's been great for us, and he's continuing to improve. Luke, uh, the, the turnovers tonight, how, how many of those do you think roughly were just 
overpassing, like as opposed to just either sloppiness or carelessness? I think, uh, again, I'm, I look at the number and I'm kind of frustrated. So I'm going to tell you, I think most of them came from lazy passes. You know, I love the fact that we had 30 assists on 37 field goals. Like that's all, that's how we want to play. That's who we, we need to be. Um, but the ones that are sticking out in my mind are just soft, lazy passes. And, and then guys not coming to the ball, a side out of bounds that got taken away. Um, you know, B.I. had six turnovers. Julius has six turnovers. Kuz was quick to point out that one of his four was that shot clock violation at the very end of the game. And I, <laughs> I said, well, don't take the turnover then. Throw it up. And he, I, well, he didn't want to mess up his shooting percentage either. So I said, all right, well, I'll, I'll let you slide on that one. But still, three turnovers. Uh, you know, and those are those are big playmakers for us. We need them to be strong with the ball. We need them to not take the risky pass, especially down the stretch. Uh, Julius had a couple late ones. I told him like, it's there, but it's low. It's 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 high risk, low reward. Like we have a lead right now. Just play solid, make the solid pass. Um, but you know, I'll, I'll watch the tape and I'll have a, a clear answer for you. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You can overpass, yes, but uh, I, I I will take overpassing uh, over selfishness uh, any day. We, and we got a stretch when we had our lead where we got really selfish, really selfish uh, in, in the middle of the second quarter where we showed four or five clips at halftime where guys were wide open and guys tried to force their own shot. And that sucks the energy out of your team, that your defense suffers. They get run out, so I'll take overpassing uh, every time over over that. Look right here. Why tonight in particular do you think that the starting unit was so strong? Well, um, you know, we've, we've been through a tough patch, and I think, you know, with the injuries that we've had and the losing we've had and, and everything else, you know, it, it – can break teams like we said from the beginning of this stretch we went on it'll either break us or we'll come through stronger the other side and uh now that we're getting healthy and guys are playing with each other um starting to you know get get a little bit of a groove back um you know i think guys were locked in and ready to play tonight and they were they were you know we got our home crowd in front of us and uh you know they came out and and, and played well i mean that's you know, there's not much you know other to it other than they they just they they were ready to go tonight.